What's up, y'all? This is Franchise Playback with another episode. It is Martin Luther King Day on NBA 2K13. We are taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Ricky Rubio, Mike Miller, Jason Richardson, Marcus Aldridge, Samuel Dellenbear. We ought to be able to handle them. We're at home. 7-5, seven, uh, seven to five. Blake Griffin trying to work it down low. Kicks it out to Mike Dunleavy Jr. with the three from outside. We have 14-7. Mike Conley setting up Paul Pierce. Pump fake. Hits the three. You know what it is. PP for 3-3. Three, three. On the fast break, Paul Pierce pulling up again. No. Alley-oop to Gerald Green. Throws it down with the left hand. Nasty. Gerald Green was a beast in the last game. He's stepping up again. Back outside to Gerald Green again. Uh oh. Fire. Fire. 29 to 14. 31 to 16 at the end of the first quarter. It's a beat down already happening. Uh, Gerald Green showing some kind of tattoo that he don't really even have on his hand. Kicks it back outside to Mike Conley for three. That was uh, Drew Gooden with the pass. We were up 15 at that point, but they closed us down a little bit. But Gerald Green, like, forget it. Another three, up by 11. Green with 14 points in the first half. He had a, another big game. Up 13, jump shot up, no. Rebound, thrown back in. JaVale McGee, uh, no, I'm sorry, that ain't JaVale McGee. That's Derrick Williams. Anyway, they down 14 points on Martin Luther King Day. I have a dream. 14-point lead at the half. Going into the second half, 62-50. to 50. Swinging the ball around. Look at this ball moving. Blake Griffin cutting to the basket. Two hands slam. The pass from Mike Dunleavy Jr. throws it down. You can't turn your head because Blake will cut. But look at Jay Rich. Now, y'all know he ain't did that move right there since uh, 2006. But he crossed him over with the slam. We still up by 12. But not for long if we keep turning the ball over like that. Brooks on the fast break. He gives it up. Jay. Jay Hickson with the lay-in. No, that ain't J.J. Hickson. That's another really black dude, which is uh, Marvin Williams. Marvin Williams, another one of them dudes. Got all them tattoos. Pitch black. Got all them tattoos. Can't even see him. All his tattoos is a secret. Another slam by Jason Richardson. Blake Griffin trying to work down low. Up and under. Look at the pass to Tyson Chandler. Throws it down off the assist. Blake Griffin has really been... You gotta watch the assist numbers. I mean, he, look at this. Look at the numbers: sixteen point seven rebounds, five assists. He threatening a triple double, like he he flirting with it. And you know, like he ain't sure if he wanna ask it out yet, but he just kind of flirting. He ain't sure. But at the end of the third quarter, we up seventy eight to sixty five. Thirteen point game. Mike Miller, wild three pointer, no good. Offensive rebound. Dellen Bear. Dellen Bear had too many points in this game. I'm embarrassed by how many points he had. But let's look at the stats again. 16 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. Still trying to do it. Ricky Rubio. Look at him. Bounce pass. Lay in by LaMarcus Aldridge's left hand. All of a sudden, we only up by one point. Mike Conley down to Blake Griffin. Pump fake. Double team comes. Mike Conley steps in. Takes a mid-range jump shot. It's good. That'll seal it. This game, we had this in hand a while ago we just kind of started playing around a little bit let them back in the game but took care of that it's done the final score it was really not indicative of how bad we actually beat them but nonetheless a win is a win Blake Griffin got to play of the game and why because he had 21 points 8 assists 15 rebounds 2 assists short of a triple double he gonna get that one day, sometime coming up soon, he's gonna get it. Led us in scoring, rebounding, and tie for the lead is tie for the lead in assists. That's good. 14 points for Gerald Green. Mike Conley wasn't far off though. He was close to a triple double too. 13 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, but he had seven turnovers. That would have been a weird quadruple double had he got three more turnovers and two more rebounds, two more assists. That's like a weird day. Jason Richardson led them in scoring 19 points. Now look, right before this next game against the Pistons. The Bobcats come off of us this ridiculous trade. Now, why would I want to take Chris Kamen and Jason Thompson, two guys that got a lower rating than the two guys they want? Why would I want to do that? They they high. Both they are everybody over there on that team is high. Getting ready to take on the Pistons. Kevin Love is their guy. Blake Griffin is, you know, y'all know how it is. Delonte West, Marcus Thornton, Chase Budinger, Kevin Love. Not a bad team, but this is the halfway point. 
we at the halfway point. 41 games through the season. Uh, all side games should be coming up shortly. And uh, Roy Hibbert is in the middle for them. This team, I don't know. The, their their bigs was giving us. They gave us a problem last time. Gave us a little bit of a problem this time. But Blake Griffin don't care nothing about that. The multiracial facial. Put the two hand slam down. Roy Hibbert didn't get up in time. Got up late, and that's why I'm in color and you are in black and white. 17 to 12. We leading. Jump shot. Kevin Love hits it though. Cuts it to three. 17 to 14. We up by five. The pass down low. Marcus Thornton with the little move. Marcus Thornton, I don't know. He looked like one of them little bad kids to ring your bell and run or something. I don't know. He just took it. We up 29 to 23 right now. On the fast break, Mike Conley looking. J.J. Reddick with a transition bucket. That's like uh, Groundhog Day or something if he get a transition bucket. 40 to 39, we leading down low. Anderson lays it in for them. Gives them the one-point lead. They sticking very close early on they are up by two at this point but somebody better guard Paul Pierce I gotta say that again cause y'all know what I meant somebody better guard Paul Pierce I can't even say the thing after I done messed up the whole everything anyway 53 to 53 at the half we need to create some distance between these dudes Mike Conley to the basket nice pass to Blake Griffin slams it home Marcus Thornton fell all backwards like he was a Appalled at the slam. You should be. You should be. 67 to 61. Look at that block by Tyson Chandler. Starts the fast break. Get out of my way. Mike Conley gets the ball. This turns into this. Pump fake by Blake Griffin into the lane. Back left hand. Little baby hook. I don't think he can make that in real life, but we're gonna take it today. 69 to 61 down low. Look at oh my. Did you see that block? He blocked it into the stand. Look at Blake Griffin. Now, y'all know he don't really play defense in real life. Left hand block. It went over Benny the Bull head. Look, the fan stood up like he's going to get it, and it just went over his head. It doesn't matter. We're about to. Luke Rittenauer passes it out to Blake Griffin. He finds Gigi from way downtown. That was like 25 feet, three-pointer. Gerald Green got 11 points at that point. We are up five, up nine at the end of the third quarter, 82 to 73. Gerald Green is having another big game. Mike Conley is harassing Delonte West like uh, he his parole officer. And I think Delonte might have one. That's a lay-in. Good. Mike Conley. We're up by six. Up by ten. Now Mike Conley again. Driving to the basket. Finds Blake Griffin. Left hand again. Blake Griffin uses left hand a lot today. Up by 12. Up by 15 here. Kevin Love throws the ball ahead to Earl Boykins. Earl Boykins is in kindergarten. We should not allow him to score because he is one feet tall. Look at the fouls. They got, we got 15 fouls. They got one. Something's wrong. Adjust the sliders or something. But it didn't matter. It did not matter. We ended up winning this game. Anyway, Mike Conley was huge in every way, shape, form, or fashion. He, uh, look at that. It looks like, uh, uh, look at that. Miles Plumley and Kevin Love. Like, he was about to get into a little scrap. It was just a glitch. Mike Conley got to play of the game, though. And he got it with 34 points, 16 assists, 4 boards, 3 steals. He was every stat column available. He was lighting it up. Blake Griffin had 28.6 rebounds. Gerald Green with 19. Paul Pierce with 18. And the bench didn't do nothing like they normally don't have stuff for Gerald Green, of course. But Tyson Chandler did have four block shots, so he is uh, trying to get into the you know into the top ten in terms of uh, well stay in the top ten because he's already ranked tenth. Trying to get off that 1.6, he's been averaging 1.6 blocks for like two and a half years. Roy Hibbert led them in scoring, but it doesn't matter. Now Mike Miller is gonna miss some time, uh, but nobody cares. The Spurs have won nine games in a row, so they are almost as hot as we are. Soon the out of games. See, D. Fish is going to retire. He's 82. And uh, Brendan Hayward is requesting a trade. But now look at this. Marcus Camby is asking for a trade for my team. Dude, you don't do nothing. He don't do nothing. So we, you know what? I don't want nobody commanding and asking no trades on my team. Get on off. You and this other dude. J.J. Reddick, both of y'all unhappy because y'all think y'all supposed to be playing. I'm going to trade both of y'all right now. Looking at the, cl at the Cavaliers. What's up? Amir Johnson, Gordon Hayward, we'll take it. Let's do this. 
I pit, I'm, I'm about to pitch the trade to the Cavs. It, it lines up from a money standpoint. We can do this. Now the Cavs come back and they counter offer. They want to throw draft picks in and stuff. You know what? I really don't care. You know why? Because uh, it's real close to NBA 2K14 coming out. And I'm probably not going to play a second season on this. So, yes, y'all going to have whatever draft picks y'all want. We're going to swap these the big for the shooting guard and we're gonna do it so we'll see what how this works out in the next episode y'all like this video subscribe follow peace